14 and 15. 14 and 15. What more do you want from Bellingham? I think as of right now, the only people who hate on Jude Bellingham are the families of Pedri or Catalonians. Those are the only people I believe that are hitting on what Bellingham is doing right now. So let me just remind people. He was never a goal scorer. Coming from Dortmund, he was a box-to-box -box midfielder. So he was not being given a new role. He's 20 years old. Real Madrid is the biggest club in the world. Real Madrid is a club where either you sink or you swim. So the amount of pressure he has going in, and not only is he scoring goals, not only is he scoring quality goals, not only is he scoring winning goals, he also dropped a two-piece against Barcelona in El Clasico, one of which was a 30-yard tapping as they say you have to accept what it is what we are looking at is an extremely talented footballer now if Real Madrid are, are responsible people which I'm sure they are this isn't your striker this isn't the answer to your goal scoring problem what what Real Madrid now have is that, oh my god we have a very dynamic player and a guy that can do many different things we had a discussion about it. He's not a Modric replacement. He is what he is. What Bellingham can do, Modric can't do. What Modric can do, Bellingham cannot do. Bellingham cannot pass the way that Modric can. Bellingham cannot control the tempo of the game the way that Luka Modric can. Modric cannot defend as well as Jude Bellingham. Um, Modric is not as athletic as Jude Bellingham. Modric doesn't have the goal-scoring intelligence that Jude Bellingham has. Pluses and minuses. So what Bellingham is going to bring is Real Madrid into a whole new dynamic and a whole new generation. That's era of Casemiro, Modric and Cruz. That was that era, which was amazing. Not arguably the greatest Champions League team of all time. <laughs> they rather speak for themselves. What this is about, it's a new era, a different team. So with Camavinga, Valverde, Chouameni, and now with Bellingham coming through, it is a new era and a new team who's not going to now play the way that they're playing. But my Lord in heaven, what Bellingham has done is amazing. Beyond Di Stefano, beyond Cristiano, no player has scored more goals in their first 15 games for Real Madrid. So I'm just astonished because I was the guy, I hold my hands up, you see, for me, I'm very fair here. I, hold, I will hold my hands up and say, I didn't think this guy would do this. I didn't think he would do this because I just, I thought that this, he was not ready for this. So what I just wanted to see is what do they now do? I think the smart thing is, okay, this goal scoring thing is cool, but let's just try and just see what's up. You're not going to be a main goal scorer, but I think what would now make sense for him and make sense not only for Real Madrid, but for England is number 10. This whole, I want, I want you to be much more attacking. I want you to play higher up on the pitch. But we are not going to rely upon it to be our goal scorer. Because my Lord in heaven, if Real Madrid get a top striker and you have Bellingham as a number 10, Real are going to be extremely scary for the next 7, 8, 9, 9 years. <laughs> so the question is, who do they get as a striker? Because it ain't Hosilo. Hosilo in, in the damn answer. I've been seeing that guy, he in the damn answer. But if they get the right striker, Real Madrid could be very scary for the next 7, 8, 9 years. But I'm sorry, if you are still hating on Jude Bellingham right now, who is a freaking 20-year-old that is scoring match and that is being a match winner. Forget about the step overs, the styles, the technique, the eye test. Forget about what he's always on the eye test. As a 20-year-old, he is doing grown man stuff. He's playing grown man ball, not as little ball. Oh, he's what is it, a talented young man. He is leading this team, scoring winning goals, and literally is the face of this team, leading them through putting this team on his back as a freaking 20-year-old. It is freakish. It is freaking amazing. And you have to give him his damn freaking flowers, man. Like that vid, guys. Subscribe. Head over there to the official websites. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.